सो हेलो एवरी वन टूडे वी हैव अगेन हैव अ स्पेशल गेस्ट इन आर चैनल वी हैव हिमांशु यू हू यू माइट रिमेंबर फ्रॉम द प्रीवियस वीडियो सो हिमांशु वेलकम अगेन ऑन माई चैनल हाउ आर यू आई एम गुड थैंक या सो टूडे हिमांशु विल बी गिविंग हिज इंटरव्यू एक्सपीरियंस ऑफ कोर्डिनेशन कोर्डिनेशन हैविंग वन ऑफ द टफेस्ट कोडिंग इंटरव्यूज एंड कोडिंग चैलेंजेस आउट देयर सो हिमांशु टेल एस अबाउट यू इंटरव्यू एक्सपीरियंस विद कोर्डिनेशन द राउंड्स द प्रॉब्लम्स एवरीथिंग इन डिटेल्स सो द फर्स्ट राउंड वॉज अ कोडिंग राउंड इन विच i was given three problems and mostly these days there are around four to six problems but i was given three problems i probably solved 2.5 problems basically some test cases of the third problem mm-hmm. the problems i would rate them uh, to lead code hard or code forces probably uh, in the range 1600 to 1900 range like div 2d yeah div 2d mostly first mm-hmm. problem on the easier side maybe div 2c so this was the first round one i qualified there was a round called ccat in which there are around 50 questions from maths aptitude and english and you have to solve them in 5 minutes all and you must score 45 plus to qualify for the next round so i probably got 47 in that uh, the problems are easy but uh, time is the major concern english problems are a bit tricky then the third round was a resume round where mm-hmm. i got a call from one of the engineers there and he basically asked me to uh, explain one of my project in detail and then he went through the resume and asked uh, about other projects in mm-hmm. this is basically a, a screen in round so they basically check if you are uh, eligible for further round yeah and then there was a dsa round which it was quite hard uh, i later got to know that the problem they asked was uh, cf 2100 a variation Damn. of 2100 <laughs> yeah and the problem was based on bit masking and graph i i i initially started on the right note uh, solving some parts of it but then i got stuck and he helped me a bit and then mm-hmm. i was able to completely solve it so it it took around uh, the interview was more than an hour and then the last uh, the last interview round so as to say was system design round or design round uh, here an engineering leader would come and uh, go through your resume ask a detailed questions from each of the things you mentioned in your resume so for example there was a project which i had written in my resume he first of all got asked about that project and then he uh, made some requirements flexible so i was working on some constraint he said what if this happens what mm-hmm. if this happens and you you had to solve the problem in the interview itself yeah. so this happened and after that uh, he asked uh, a design problem where it was not a system design problem but basically the question was something on the line of google drive mm-hmm. or a google doc where you have yeah. to share files and uh, after i qualified this round the last round was a ccat round again but this was in proctored mode so they wanted to check whether you have come through cheating or something so a person would uh, sit with you and uh, and there would be two or three camera set up so no <laughs> scope of cheating uh, yeah. so, yeah. and yeah. Uh, so uh, and the problems were a bit harder than the previously mm. set round so uh, the cut off was reduced to 40 and i scored just 40 so that, <laughs> yeah. So yeah that was it so how long did it take the whole because there were so many rounds in the whole process yeah, i would say approximately a month so Damn. the results would be declared probably next day or a day after huh. in case there were no saturday or sunday in between but the scheduling of next round probably took 4 5 days mm-hmm. what was the toughest thing for you like you had to give so many things like system design mathematics dsa so what was the toughest thing you felt like this was the toughest thing in coordination interview uh, honestly speaking every round was tough <laughs> i have to yeah to one round it would be dsa round it was quite tough and uh, so design round was challenging in itself Mm-hmm. uh it was not tough but very different from what i had experienced mm-hmm. so it was tough as well mm-hmm. and the proctored ccat round wasn't tough but 
you mean I, I was very nervous since I had qualified that earlier, yeah. but I didn't know if, what if I fail this round, and that was the last round. So it was very mm-hmm. nervous. But most challenging, of course, would be DSA round. Mm-hmm. The coding round in itself is very tough because yeah, code forces level problems, right? Yeah. yeah. And also, if any of you want to know his preparation strategy, then we have already made another video about him and his journey of preparation and getting offers from these companies. But specifically speaking about these tough interviews, right? Like there are only few companies that offer great CTC and have very tough interviews. Like Cred is there, Coordination is there, like you have Google Tower Research. So what would you say for like these companies which totally focus on problem solving, a lot of problem solving, like... What advice would you give to people to get their problem solving to that level so that they can crack these very tough interviews? Yeah, so I feel for cracking these uh, companies, you need to do CP. Computer uh, programming, I, right? Yeah. yeah. Without CP, just doing lead code, at least I don't know a person who has cracked it. Maybe there yeah, is. Yeah, exactly. But I don't know someone. Mm-hmm. And uh, in that particular case, you need to solve tough problems. So, mm-hmm. as I said, in these contests, you would be asked problems on the tougher side rather than checking the, your speed. They mostly check your uh, thought process. Yeah, thought process. So they will ask tough problems. So you, while you should focus on problem solving on code forces or giving contests on code forces, you also try to solve higher rated problems on these websites. Mm-hmm. That would give you a, a good chance of cracking it. Yeah, in fact, if you take a coding round of any of these companies, like most of them like a, are like a div 1 or higher rated div 2 code forces rounds, like you'll feel exactly similarity between yeah. giving a code forces. Yeah, so correct. even if you're not doing computer programming, like very seriously, you should at least try out computer programming for a while and just see if you're able to solve the hard level problems. True. Because these uh, companies also have the same level of problems in their own right. Yeah, true. What about the, like you told me that there's a round which is dedicated to explaining the project itself. Is is it correct? Yeah, so uh, in resume round, you need to okay, explain your project round. as well as the system design round. So you need to explain your uh, all your projects and they will ask very interesting questions from those projects. So I was asked questions which I hadn't thought and I had done internship and in a startup where that thing was not even thought of that yeah. and they <laughs> questions on that i yeah. have to solve that in, in an hour or so. so so you also need to have some good projects and not only you need to have good projects but you know need to know them inside out it's not yes, like you yeah. did something three years ago and you forgot yeah. about it and you have in your resume yeah. that you cannot do right exactly exactly yeah amazing man Okay, so I think that covers everything about the coordination interview experience. Like again, let me mention, we have made another video with Himanchu where he's explained the complete journey of him, like coming to this level where he's able to crack these companies like Zscaler, Coordination and Cred. So do follow that video and watch his journey. It will inspire you and you'll learn a lot of things. So again, thanks Himanchu for coming on my channel yet again and hopefully we'll meet you in another video soon. Thanks.